Hey, Pops, does this thing work? Sure does. I just oiled it. Beautiful. Give it up, baby. You know what time it is when we play that. Hang on, let me let me get a uh, good music for this. Who oils a jukebox? I we don't I don't know how a jukebox is made. Yeah, this this will do. It returns. Somehow, classic game commercials has returned. Uh, I don't know why this keeps happening. And no, I don't hate seeing the commercials. So what I've done is less YouTube poops. Because the generation of said poops takes forever because the program is terrible. So we're going to do more commercials, less poop. However, when I show the poop, it'll be... <laughs> It'll be condensed. It'll be concentrated into a larger poop segment. So that way, it'll you'll still get a fair amount. But what I'll end up doing is um, limiting them so the audio won't be terrible. And uh, hopefully we'll have some good commercials to enjoy. This is a segment that people, for some reason, just keep requesting. So... Why not? And keep sending me entries. So, Mr. Flipnote and Dardster1989. This is their pack of commercials. And we're going to see which ones are good. Will we buy any of the games shown today? I don't know. Maybe we will. Here's what I will say, though. There may be a repeat or a duplicate. So, hang on to your ass because it could get a little crusty. So let's start with this is identified a substantial build up of hostile forces right here. Okay. Um hang on. So in order to limit the loud noises out. I found a way to do that. So we're going to go through VLC with a cool skin on it. And, uh, oh, great. Oh, that's cool. I had this all worked out before and now I have to do this again. That's interesting. And, uh, we're going to just have a limiter on top of it so that our ears don't get fucking destroyed. Action Max is first. Intelligence has identified a substantial buildup of hostile forces right here in our own backyard. And I'm giving you the green light to clean them out. Gentlemen, you're the best. So get up there and prove it. They rented real jets. Let's kick some. Whoa! I've got They put a kid in a real plane. Is that an F-14? I think it is. Oh, it's one of these, though. If we're any more real, it wouldn't be a game. Well, it's a VHS game, meaning I think it just plays a pre-recorded video and then you have to shoot the screen. Yeah, I think it's that. It's fake light gun. Not real game. Bad game. Oh, well. Lovable, unpredictable. I actually remember these Sims commercials. Sims. Did we watch hey there, these sports? at some point? What's all the racket? It's a hot tub party, Daddy. <laughs> Yikes! Those crab cakes. We did, but not all of them. Wallop. When you create the characters and design the surroundings, anything's a possibility. The Sims. It's the fuck! The theme of tonight's stream is just farts in general. Lovable. Like across the segments. It's the Sims. Anyway. Hey there, sport. What's all the racket? It's a llama, Daddy. A South American beast of burden. I just cleaned there! Get your greasy gun off my floor! I don't know! When you create the characters and design the I mean, 
everything's a possibility. The Sims. It's a new game every day. These are pretty good commercials. Lovable, unpredictable, programmable. It's The Sims. Hey there, sport. What's all the racket? It's a pie in the face gag again, Daddy. Not so funny now. Love the Grim Reaper in the background. You have a clown, a genie, a Grim Reaper. When you create the characters and design the surroundings, anything's a possibility. The Sims. It's a new game every day. Rated T for T. Lovable, unpredictable. These commercials aren't accurate because there aren't enough Sims locked in empty rooms forced to make art. I swear to God. What's all the racket? The fact that Sims haven't achieved sentience yet is a miracle. It should have been Westworld. That'll be 20. <laughs> when you create the characters and design the surroundings, anything's a possibility. The Sims. It's a new game every day. Rated T for T. Lovable, unpredictable, programmable. It's The Sims. I kind of want The Sims now. It might just be, be hey because I've heard sport? the word The Sims the five it's times daddy. in a row. The key to a cleaner burning fuel resides in this... Uh, moron. You know that, right? When you wow. create the characters and design the surroundings, anything's a possibility. The Sims. It's a new game every day. Okay, truth be told, though, I do think these are good commercials. It fits the fucking tone of The Sims. It actually shows you a little bit of gameplay. Not a whole lot, but enough to know what you're looking at and what you're going to buy. Um, they're kind of funny-esque for commercials. I think they're solid. Honestly. Good start. Oh no. <laughs> the apes. This gum. Ape escape. You better get them before they get you. Also, the quality of this commercial. I wonder if it was, like, copied from a VHS eight times before someone uploaded it to YouTube in 2006. Just makes you wonder. But Ape Escape is, is a good game. You have actual Can monkeys. I wonder if they paid the monkeys, like, well enough. This is... I'm instantly down for this game, whatever it is. I don't even know what game this is. There's a duck. I'm in. Can you believe this? Who came up with this Arcadia thing? It's as big as the wall. I don't want this game. Nine against one? Who set those odds? Beginning to expert, head to head, it even keeps score. Is that sick or what? <laughs> Great news, it's deer hunting season. Arcadia deer hunter base. All right, I get this one. Same targeting burn, new target. Woohoo! Arcadia electronic skeet shoot, deer hunter, and extra rifles, each sold separately from Toy Max. So wait, how random could this be? Because seriously, at this point, you have to wonder, it just projects the image of a duck or a deer, and it's you just skeet on the wall. But how random could it be? Like, how long until you learn the patterns and can just shoot them with your eyes closed? It seems really, um, it seems really lame, even though the projector idea with the gun is kind of neat. And also... You know, Duck Hunt on the NES was probably out already. I don't know what year this was, but commercial quality looks too good for it to be pre-Duck Hunt. So, um, unless it was like 20 bucks, pass. I've seen this commercial. Oh my god, memory unlocked. Oh my god. Nutcracker. Introducing I was just about to say that. Heroes, rated D for team, the biggest little war there is for the PlayStation game console and Nintendo 64. Army men, Sarge's heroes, real combat, plastic men. Good to go. We just got a taste of some <laughs> other commercial. Um, this game, the commercial was funny. I remember it, but I also didn't really. I rented the game. I didn't love it. I wanted to because Army men, cool. And it seemed like a cool concept for a game, your small little toy soldier. Um, I liked it back in the day, but I have a feeling if I played it again today, it would be like impossible to play. But hey, it's a commercial.
It worked on me. Hey, Mr. Block, can I go to the bathroom? Two minutes. Chat, you're never going to believe who that is. Fucking Spider-Man. Introducing Lynx from Atari. The color video game you can get away with. Well, sometimes. That's Tobey Maguire. <laughs> you can kind of like tell in a couple frames. Like here, there's there's the Toby face. Pizza time. Hey, Jack Black had an early um, commercial. Jack Black was in a Pitfall commercial before he was famous. That was his first gig. I guess I should talk about the commercial itself, right? I mean, you go to the bathroom to play in school. Must be good. Must be good. Now, is the battery life somewhere around 10 minutes, 20 minutes? I don't know, but it's 1990. So um, Game Boy had just come out the previous year. Makes you wonder. It's Jess Video Game Review! So, okay. Last week, Harley and I reviewed Ultra Enviro Man. How come what? growing up, I oh, saw places like go. this on TV, but no such places existed in real life? Where, like, orange cheese couches and, like, turquoise weird walls with strange furniture. And we're gonna take a look at Battletoads. Rocky! That it is. I mean, they got Psycho Pigs and Turbo Thwacking. Kick fighting, surfing, baby. This is before it became a How meme. You go wrong. Your kids are freak for Battletoads and these other games from Trade West, Nintendo Entertainment, or Game Boy Systems Required. That's really radical. Very, yeah, Bill and Ted probably had a lot to do with this kind of aesthetic. But, um, yeah, that's cool. Battletoads, yeah. They even give you some gameplay. It says here 4K 35mm film scan. Okay, all right. It doesn't look 35 millimeter me, but okay, all right. This is the story of Daphne, who longs to be alone with her very own BBC Micro. And as for Daphne, Acorn... What the hell is a BBC microcomputer? ...to small businessmen. Hello, Dad. Oh my God, it's, it's more yes. British. They've even made it irresistible to a country. It's more British computers. Hello, Uncle Sol. What the fuck is this? And sad to say, it's become vital for everyone who needs up-to-the-minute information. Thanks to its Prestel and Teletext adapters. Worst of all, it's absolutely Bird. gung-ho for busy administrators. And then there are those who is this actor? who want to use its unearthly scientific... Did they just want to save money? Or was it like a famous character actor in Britland? Poor Daphne. The BBC microcomputer system is a world leader, and it's still growing. I, all right, that's cool. I don't really know what I'm looking at here. What does it do? You print stuff out, you type stuff, there's graphs, there's horsies. You can play horsies! BBC microcomputer. Is this sponsored by the BBC? The British Broadcasting Corporation or company, whatever it is? Acorn Computer? See, that's confusing. Now, the, the messaging, it is actually, yeah, a channel, rather. British Broadcasting Channel. Um, yep, that's a little interesting. BBC had its own computer they tried to push in schools. And then they hired this actor to play all the parts in this weird-ass commercial. What is this game? See if you can guess what it is before it shows what game it is. I'll give you a hint. It's post-2000. Which you can probably tell by the filming. Oh, chat got it already. Maybe they remember it. And now we see some gameplay. 
It took like 25 seconds or so. It's black. For the PlayStation 2. I've, I've never played that game. But the little amount of gameplay I saw was just generic shoot gun. So I, I don't know if that would be enough for me to buy the game. Cool commercial. They blew shit up. They shot shit. That, that's... I guess that's fun to look at. But, um... Generic as fuck. I didn't... Again, at the time, I wasn't interested. So I've never played it. Someone said it's solid. All right. That's cool. Hey, how about this one, chat? It is with a heavy heart I tell you that we are facing annihilation. That's right, Beavis and Butthead. I'd like to thank you for saving our capital. As I speak, aliens are coming. They're coming like me. I'm coming too. It's a sticky situation, but... Oh my God. We don't have to swallow it. What? These suckers are traveling through history harvesting humans for food. But we won't fall on our knees. Uh, oh. Today, I put my moniker... <clears throat> on a document to oh. save the human race. Monica. Someone has to go back in time and lick the aliens to end this <laughs> this body harvest. Unless someone can blow them away, we are history. Holy shit. Wow. They really fucking did that, didn't they? They really did that. Okay, um, that's a subtle commercial if I've ever seen one. Um, note, there is no gameplay in this commercial. Zero gameplay. I've never seen this commercial before. I had this game. In fact, I streamed it not too long ago. Well, half of it, because it does not emulate well, and the game did not age that great. But I really liked Body Harvest back in the day. Zero gameplay. By the way, this company eventually became Rockstar. Mental. But we don't have to swallow it. Music. Well, what was that? Hang on, I saw something. What was this? Tupac, are you still down? Remember me? Is this when Tupac was still releasing like two albums a year after his death? Because that was kind of weird. That happened a lot. music did they get the rights to the song I like that commercial. I thought it was good. Um, I like the Spider-Man parody. I thought uh, a lot of gameplay. At the time, N64 was still kind of new. And I played that at a friend's house. I liked it. But um, I thought that was a pretty good commercial. Is that Mother Brain? Ooh, got the hell! This Tetris 2 has given me a headache. And I don't even have a head. Oh. Wow. Hey, you want to know what I do when I get bored waiting for my girlfriend to decide what to wear before we go out? Nah, too frumpy. Too tight. Nah, too revealing. I just slip into this little gray. What the Plastic f number. It's something to do with your brain. Oh, how sweet. Okay, so it's not a Game Boy. But I guess her heart's in the right place. By the window, second shelf down on the right. I like these brain commercials. About 40 pounds burning a hole in your pocket? You could either buy a Game Boy like this, or own a pair of pants like this. Alright, maybe, maybe I don't like these commercials all that much. The four, those were Walter White briefs, they were. Brainplayinggameboy.mp4. That's a great name for this video, too. Oi! Eu sou o Sonic! E este é o meu amigo Tails! Nós estamos no jogo Sonic 2! 
come to Brazil quickly, Sonic, please. They did like Brazilian Sonic voice. Wow. They did it. They localized Sonic for Brazil. Brazil, not Brazil. Also, I wanted to comment that previous brain commercial. I I will I will remember that. Like if I saw that as a kid, I'd remember the brain speaking to me from a jar. Stop, Earthling! This is gonna split. Intruder alert! 3D game lab. Quality is good on this commercial. Game in progress. I wonder if those are intentional film crusts. Game and game. Yikes. Surrender, Earthling. Sure, Doc. Wow. Games for the next millennium. What games was those? So we got three N64 games, one PlayStation game. Hmm. They had this the audacity to put this commercial on 35 millimeter film. Yep. It is, yep, it's on 35. So wait a minute. It's weird because the one I said earlier was 35 millimeter. Incorrect. For some reason, the title this whole time has been this game, this commercial. Huh. Fear has no form. That was a good commercial though. Lots of Fear. 3D no Looney Tunes name. and classic but animation. Now, that was nice. Has an address. Castlevania Symphony of the Night for the PlayStation from Konami. So, not much to this commercial. This is like a 15 second one. It has no form. Obviously, Symphony of the Night is amazing. Um, you even get fake Alucard. Fear has no name. You get. Who's that? No name. I mean. Dracula? Or is it just random vampire? But now, fear has an address. Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. I like the shot of the sword dropping. I think that's very creative. And you can get a lot of seconds Cast of commercial Slovenia, just Symphony by dropping a sword Night. in slow motion. PlayStation from Konami. Not much of a commercial, but I'm in. Appropriate. In the competitive world of home computers, the Commodore 64 is absolutely unbeatable. With its enormous 64K memory, its printers, plotter, disk drive, monitor, and its vast range of software, we oh my believe God. the only thing the Commodore 64 doesn't have is any serious competition. The Commodore 64 never forgets it. the world's biggest selling home computer. I get it. I see what you're doing there. Did they really put a real elephant in this out could they even do such a thing no right did they take like a russian circus elephant or something and just put like giant boxing gloves on it i don't know it could be a puppet we believe it's not taxidermy it doesn't it looks real i mean the the, the movement is definitely there ah it's weird also, it's just some dude, like, in a sensual voice telling you about the Commodore 64 and not showing you anything. <laughs> Alright. Alright. It's kind of fun. Ah, uh, yes, destroy the audience's ears. Fucking blow them out. If I didn't have a limiter right now, I'd be screaming. Contributing to the audience ear damage. Okay, we got a babe. And we, <laughs> we got Crash Bandicoot. And we have music that's so loud you can't hear yourself think. Oh, I have no choice but to buy that game. 
Small things amuse small minds. Like the tiny critters in Sega's most addictive game yet, Lemmings. Well, I wanted to have a small head, so I made my body oh, bigger. You can just sit back and watch the little guys explode! <laughs> Lemmings! <laughs> The name of the video is actually davidburn.mp4. Actual size. That's an amazing image right there on its own. Especially without context, that's pretty good. Well, chat, that brings us to the first poop. Do you want to see? Like I said, we don't have a ton of poops tonight. We got a couple. Because they hurt my brain, and because they're impossible to generate without clicking the button a thousand times. So, here we go. Let, let's see. I mean, I have a limiter on, so that helps. Let's see what happens, everybody. Please. Black, are you dumb? Are you gay? And then there's Chunky. He's dead. Mm. You better get them. Today. <laughs> Your brain's broken or something. <laughs> Luigi, look. <laughs> Good noise, even worse. And design the surroundings. How can you go wrong? Your kids are. Small things amuse small. What do you mean you don't agree with me? <laughs> do you know who you're dealing with? Okay. To fend off enemies, use your brain. Searching babes. Got like eight seconds of Red and Stimpy. <laughs> Other dinosaur species. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> no, no, none of this. I turned this off. Why is that still doing that? Jesus. Now, chat, unfortunately, I also generated a cursed version of the poop. That was terrible. Um, using the same videos, there is a there was one not cursed, but some effects were left on that should not have been on. So, oh, thank you, Mike, for the raid. I appreciate that, man. Um, so I'm going to play it and see if it's any better because that was terrible. It immediately starts with Sparta. It did it, did it twice. Like, I turned those off where you couldn't even see what was happening. I can imagine the people that raided the, that are here now are very, very fucking confused. Yeah, yeah, good points. And I have a limiter on too. Based on the populace, did they live through the Jurassic and world's biggest selling home <laughs> That's it. Do do you see why I've cut back on the YouTube poop segments? Let's continue. This is a pretty famous I commercial. I might have even shown one of these. This game is an atrocity. It's revolting. Yeah, it's Dead Space 2. It's violent. It's everything you love in a game. 
and your mom's gonna hate it. Why would they even make something like this? <laughs> Honestly, the marketing is fucking genius. Seriously, because I this is still to this day one of the pieces of marketing for video games that is that infamous. It worked. It's edgy as fuck, but it worked. Can you guess what game? No need to guess, it was Devil May Cry. <laughs> DMC. It's just the dude talking. Is it, who, who, who is Hoomst is that? Capcom. Hoomst? Don't. He's cool. Jesus, that's a lot of cuts. So fast. I want to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for attending the third international conference on science and technology. Is this a so Doctor no Strange Love parody? Well, I don't know, but that's another one. Good gracious, there goes another one. They're multiplying. <laughs> It's like a little mini movie. I like this one. Oh, this is a theater trailer. This was played in theaters before movies. We have a problem here. Come on, everybody. Take a chance. We're going underground to do the dig dog dance. I did not expect it to break into song. I had I had ideas of where this might go, and it was not song. That's a cool practical effect. And even the, the genre of music they're doing, it's like, what? That's a cool practical effect. They kind of look like Devo with those helmets. That's right. I, well, it's a hard truth to swallow, that's for sure. But I think we should suck it up and just play the game. Uh, that was great. That was actually kind of kind of fun. If I saw that before a movie, I wouldn't be too upset. It's, it's got a song and some actual like effects and uh, a little bit of a strange love parody i'll play dig dug sure for sale 40 golf balls one pair of waterproof three woods nine iron and a putter slightly damaged the new Sega PGA Golf 2. More shots, more courses, and more sounds for golf widows everywhere. The name of this video is Domestic Abuse is Funny.mp4. <laughs> now, to me, that's, that's not a commercial that would sell me on a video game at all. Like, at all. But, you know, to each their own. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Donkey to Diddy 
<laughs> okay, it's the Game Boy Advance version. You know, when Nintendo was putting their mascots in puppets, sorry, or yeah, puppets too, but also with like just in costumes, like the Smash Brothers commercial, they've done it in various forms. To me, that's pretty effective. I enjoy seeing someone in a Donkey Kong outfit actually on... There's no way, like, it's not a chat. He's not riding a real ostrich, right? It's real? Can you ride an ostrich? How could they... How could they do that? Definitely real. I've seen it in the game Joust, and I know that video games are real life, so, I mean, I assume that you can ride an ostrich if Donkey Kong is riding one, and if, um, you can ride one in- anyway. Weird. Only in Donkey Kong Country. Leaping rhinos, giant bees, flying chimps. Only for Game Boy Advance. Rated everyone. Ostriches are strong as fuck, says a chat member. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's, that really doesn't show very much, but you see Rambi jumping, so that's cool. I, I love the way they say that so much. <laughs> yeah, some good Donkey Kong commercials. I'm always, always down for Donkey Kong commercials. Why do you think your mommy or daddy are always telling you, don't put that in your mouth? Let's what? find out. Hi, Hi, kid. Why are we on television anyway? We're here to tell a little story about why you shouldn't put things into your mouth when you don't know what they are, and why you should never take anything a stranger tries to give you. Why not? Because if you ate somebody else's medicine, some bad food, or some poison, I hate you could this. get very sick. Ugh, I don't want And I hate the way the eyes and the mouth are moving. Anything. It's you so weird. Someone you love, if it's okay. Okay, I love you. Can I eat the guitar? No, oh. but but you can help me sing a song about eating things that don't belong inside you. Okay, I wasn't really hungry anyway. Well, wait, maybe a little bit. Okay, everybody. This is Canadian. You see something that you want to eat before you do anything. I'm assuming they're not going to sell song. me a don't video you game. Put it in your mouth. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you stuff it in your face. Don't stuff it in your face. So it might look good to eat. So it might look good, good to, to eat. eat. And it might look good to taste. And, and it, it might, might look, look good, good to taste. taste. You could get sick. Yuck. You Real could quick. get poisoned. Yuck. You Real might fall sick. dead if you, you eat the garbage. Uh -uh. You right, Wasn't there a song a couple of years after this, Just Put It In Your Mouth? Like a muffin or a bee. Like a muffin or a bee. If you don't know just what it is, remember boys and girls? No. They have a whole cast of characters. Holy crap. These bootleg ass Muppets. Hey, what am I doing? I don't even like beats. Then don't put it in your mouth. Bye bye, bye everyone. everyone. Remember, boys and girls, never take anything from a stranger <laughs> and don't put things in your mouth when you don't know what they are. If you eat somebody else's medicine or some bad food or some poison, you puke. could get very sick. Just puke. Always ask someone you love before you put anything in your mouth. Okay, the advice is sound. I can appreciate the sentiment. And I'm glad that they're trying to help people, help kids realize, you know, be careful. Don't eat the poison. If there's an X on the bottle and it's green liquid, don't drink that. We know this now. However, I, I don't, yeah, sometimes they're going to be some non-video game commercials in here. Don't worry about that, chat. Um, the, the Muppet, this Muppet in particular is a little unsettling. I think it's the mouth. So we'll start with that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was there was a song a couple years later. It was just put it in your mouth. I'm getting conflicting messages here, chat. Don't I or do I? Yeah, the Muppet teeth definitely are weird. I don't stop playing them. My wife is going to kill me. You're in this dark, nasty place. 
pretty disgusting. Now on 32X, it makes me sweat. Welcome to the world of doom. A hellish nightmare for the more real, the more intense world of Genesis 32X. It takes my mind off work. It meets Just sweats. one of the astounding new games for the machine six times more powerful than 3DO. Back up! Chad, that wasn't the terrible Doom, right? That one was Jag Jaguar. The Jaguar commercial uh, Doom was the one that was absolutely butchered. See what I did there? The 32X version was shit. This one was the second worst. Terrible Doom was 3DO. 32X had the fart OST. Oh, okay. Jaguar was decent, but lacked music. Got it. Okay, yeah, there's so many fucking versions of Doom. That commercial really didn't sell me on Doom, but, you know. They're going dark. Butcher meat. Eraser head. Mario! 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 PlayStation. It looks like this is just one video of the Ooh. same ad campaign for early PS1. Just remember, chat, when this was new, if Sony didn't spend a fuckload on advertising, no one would have known what this fucking thing was. They had to make it appealing and cool. The price point as well? How much was that price point, chat? Is it- someone said 400 US at the time? That's great. That's fucking nuts for that time. 400-ish. Someone's saying- people are saying 299 and 400, so... I don't know. Still, though, it's tough. That's a tough sell. But it, as we know, it won the console war of that time. From what I remember... PS1 did okay, and then it was like Final Fantasy VII that pushed it over the top. $299, which basically tanked the Sega Saturn. So it was $299 in the US and around $399 in Japan. How much was the Sega Saturn? It was $100 cheaper than the Saturn. Okay. Um, the Final Fantasy VII commercials got me to get a PlayStation. Those commercials were so good. At least, maybe the game itself, the cutscenes were so fucking good. Um, and it was exactly the type of shit my 13-year-old mind wanted to see, which was dark, weird cities with helicopters and strange big swords and weirdos. Worked for me. And uh, eventually I got my PS1 for Final Fantasy VII. So, worked. Star Wars. It's great in the arcade. The name of this video is face.mp4. The director's like, hey, could you just like be a little less extra. Can, can you tone it down like 20%? The dude does a line off of some guy's schlong, like the DP schlong, and he's like, I'm ready to go. Some people are just face actors.
シミュレーションゲームファイヤーエンブレム All right, I mean it's something. They've dressed a bunch of people up in costumes. They had the song. I like that. No gameplay. You just have to take our word for it. It's a cool game. A bunch of people singing it. So clearly, you should buy it. Colonel, long time no see. Snake, today's briefing is of the utmost importance. What is it, Colonel? I'll be telling you all about the Ford Focus SE. A Ford? Yes, Snake. You should know the Ford Focus SE. I don't think I've ever seen this. Standard rear view camera. Plus, it has an EPA estimated 36 highway miles per gallon. EPA estimated 36 highway miles per gallon? That's remarkable. Yes, Snake. The Focus SE is the Squeeze perfect vehicle for hog. driving around Shadow Moses Island. Colonel, let me stop you. I'm going to Fulton extract myself a Ford Focus SE right now. But Snake, that technology hasn't been used since 1984. Snake. Snake. Squeeze your hog. Snake. So, okay, hang on. The Fulton extraction. So this was either Peace Walker time or it was... Um... When was this commercial done? Chat, does anyone know? This commercial's from like 2016. Okay, so it wasn't. M okay, I thought it was an MGS One commercial because of the uh, the codec. I was about to say that's classic Snake and Paul eating, but Fulton is in Peace Walker as well. 1984 is when Metal Gear Solid Five happened. That's the year it happened, and uh, I guess M MGS Five came out when 2016. MGS Three referenced Fulton et extractions. 2015. That's crazy that it was 2015. Jesus Christ. Anyway, it is kind of crusty for 20. Yeah, I think just the quality. All right. Anyway, cool commercial. <laughs> Buy product. Do not think. Goddo. 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 Hi. ん。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユリア。ユ
this is what? Look, Memory unlocked. You play when my turn's over. But you've been playing for 62 years. Now you can play Nintendo 64 longer than ever. With Fruit by the Foot's new game tips, 90 tips to help you reach new levels and beyond. And 64 oh my God. game tips from Fruit by the Foot. Your games go on and on and on. Chat, we're getting oh, to this. You're killing me. Here you go, oh my god. It's about time, dude. I've been waiting 63 years. Hey, Timmy. I I'm going to have, in 30 years, I'm going to have to watch this commercial again. Or fruit by the foot. Awesome. This one's got tips for three new Nintendo 64 games. <laughs> oh, good. Now you can keep playing Nintendo 64. Probably don't want to be ever. eating that fruit With by the foot at that age, fruit though. By the foot. New N64 game tips from Fruit by the Foot. Your games still go on and on and on. Hey, dude. Your sister's cute. <laughs> I remember those commercials. Funbox. Oh. Well, now they kind of do this with Game Pass. Need for Speed Underground Two? Can we have some now, Mommy? You ruined your dinner. You can't eat that, Mom. Or can you? Ready to eat it too? Huh? That's a kind of confusing commercial. Um, yeah. But then they have to make sure that people know that it's fake because otherwise people will be ordering Funbox so they could get a bunch of games all at once. Weird, slightly deranged Black Hole Sun, won't you come? Won't you come? Wash away the rain. Hey, Phoenix, remember last time we met? Yeah, but it still makes you shake like a little girly. Well, I can hardly wait to put my hands all around you again in Tekken 4 and make that championship title mine. I'm going to pile drive you right into the ground, freak! I'm gonna hurt you! I, I guess I want that game now, thank you. Listen, the fact that everyone's reacting with question marks that and what the fuck and WTFs, it, it's, indi it's indicative that this advertising company probably did something right. Because this is the type of shit that you remember more than just a bunch of cool dudes playing video games. Um, I think it's a terrible commercial personally, but, you know, if you showed me this again, there's like eight commercials we've seen tonight that if you showed me again in 20 years, I'd be like, oh, I did that on my segment. So I'd probably remember this one. So credit where credit's due. Oh, oh yes, this is my favorite one. It's called Big Star, darling. We open on Nintendo's enormous star, brilliant. Cut oh, to wide shot of star, God. followed by lingering tracking shot of star's best side. And finally, please, on enormous close-up of the it's star. It's British that carrot top. He is talking about total entertainment. Let's record it. What? Oh, no! Oh, the wrong idea! Yes, Game Boy. An interesting incentive, Nintendo. Wait, that's that was Rick Mayall? Was that actually him? That Drop Dead Fred? Oh. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> well, that's a good... That's a very, very good... Still frame. Yeah, he did do a lot of stuff, but I remember Drop Dead Fred. He was Nintendo's advertising guy for a few years. Huh. In the UK, I guess. Yeah, that's why I didn't know, because UK. So let's do it. Okay. Again, I would remember the Rick Mayall commercial over this one. Even if this is kind of cool that they're photoshopping Game Boy into historic events. Okay, actually, this is kind of neat. Those cone heads? They come from France? Why are they cone heads? It's like history and then cone heads. It was a weird time for commercials. The early 90s were just fucking weird. Some days. <laughs> Just on form. Take Sonic to level six. 
<laughs> crack every game. You make all the right moves. How do I do that? <laughs> Some days. They're like Mad Max, like super cool You're just dude. Glad they invented this. All you good for is watching telly. How yeah, they do that? <laughs> okay, it's the post-apocalypse. You're in Mad Max, and to keep you busy, you have a Game Gear. And the the sorry, it's the TV tuner, so you can watch TV on your Game Gear. Unfortunately, you only get about forty-five minutes of TV. Enough for one episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Oh, no, you got commercials. Sorry. All right. Chat. It's poop time. Yes, Snake. What did he step in? Wait, what did he step in? <laughs> Stripperella, Thursdays at 11 p.m. I think this is a built-in clip. Nightmare for the more real, huh? The Ford Focus, a nightmare for the more real. <laughs> okay, I don't know how much of this can be shown, even in slow motion. It was a jelly donut chat, that's what it was, if you want to know. Holy fuck! What? Add a packet of checkers. Oh. It was better than the first one. It was automatic, automatically generated YouTube poops, everybody. Uh, a couple good moments, but still sucked out of 10. All right. Well, let's do more commercials. I can do another set. Oh, yes, we've seen this. Not this commercial, but we've seen the GameCom. Again, the 90 commercial, 90s commercials with the very quick cuts and bizarre... Just bizarre things to cut to and, like, weird camera effects. Yeah. Like, I guess here's a tiger. Look at the tiger roar. Do you see the tiger? Look at the tiger roar. You want the Gamecom now, because it's at epic. Gamefly, our passion for gaming has led us to rent games differently. We think different is better. Choose from thousands of the latest and classic video games delivered right to your door. Keep them I remember this commercial. Late fees, then send them back in our prepaid envelope. People think we're crazy to rent games for as low as eight ninety five for the first month. We think we're visionaries. Our vision? Make renting easier. Oh my different, god. Maybe smarter? We think so. Go to Gamefly.com and start renting. I wonder how many game. dozens of times I've seen that commercial. Or even hundreds. Huh. That doesn't exist anymore, does it? Gamefly. Like, did it get swallowed up by Netflix or something? Or, uh... Gamefly is still around? Oh. Killer graphics. And even deadlier characters. Just about everyone's getting into Street Fighter Alpha. 
Okay, the cockroaches are fighting. It's you know what? It's something. Because I was gonna say this is just your typical gamer acting too nutty and and animated while playing video game commercial. We've seen lots of that over the years. I know that that's something that's gonna pop up again, probably tonight. But cockroach fight? That's good shit. You think I'm pretty? I am not. What if I was a slug? I am? Do you still well, think I would be like pretty if I was a slug? How pretty do you think I am? 92? Oh, come on, you're embarrassing me. Like Hold on, I got another call. Idea. Hello? Some things are just better to do with other people. Like Gauntlet Legends. Oh. The more people you get to play, the more chance you stand to survive. I've been voted prettiest girl in America? I have not. My favorite genre of commercial is... Here is one completely unrelated thing, and then other completely unrelated thing. Please buy. Whiplash inducing power. It's tail time! Precise traction, excellent suspension. Shields up, Captain. Advanced digital sound. Four on the floor, baby. Gex. Yeah, that's before it became a 3D collectathon. A higher level. Lock and load! Where speed and control come together. Shields up, Captain. In perfect balance. Clean up, aisle six. I mean, they tried so hard with Gex. They really did. They got a comedian to do the voices. They did the references to... It's a cool idea. They did the references to Titanic and various pop culture things. I rented the Gex game on the N64. I liked it. Wasn't as fun to play as banjo kazooie or mario 64 but you know it was, it was something there was an attempt it was it was okay i would give it an okay out of 10 that's my rating of gex when your giga pets call you gotta stop don't forget your giga pets whoa doggies madonna's hungry so oh this I'll is like um i guess tamagotchi started a whole thing i remember that your giga to grow bigger you gotta figure how to care for your giga baby wants to play now you can get computer koala floppy frog and salem the cat from sabrina the teenage witch giga pets from tiger it's amazing that these things blew up for people that are kind of young um this was one of those fads that happened um tamagotchi was what it was called it was like a little thing like that like a little egg with a little screen and you had to take care of a pet before you killed it or it died meaning you had to feed it and pay attention to it so it was a fake thing that you had to devote time to like a job um but then they had clones of tamagotchi and i'm sure tamagotchi's still around in various forms but i'm sure there's some people that don't know what a tamagotchi is but um yeah weird there's only one hero who possesses the strength i remember this commercial too holy shit and the courage Save the world single handedly. It's Glover. It's Danny Glover. Glover's got the magic and the moves to match big bad bosses. Skill? Glover's got the brains to solve mind boggling puzzles. And talk about courage? Glover's got the to handle any challenge. Glover for Nintendo 64 and PC CD ROM. Gotta love the glove. No, Glover 2 was cancelled and I played it. I played um, a version that was eventually leaked, I guess. And it was pretty far along. Glover 1. I didn't. I don't really love Glover, honestly. I don't enjoy playing it, but I, you know, it's a glove. That's nice. I wonder if the GoldenEye music, the the Bond theme, gets claimed. Just not really sure if it does. But um, I guess they're just mixing movie with game. You know how to use one of these. And to be fair, the, the fucking graphics in this game for their time were pretty great. Like, showing the um, gameplay like that with the movie, you can obviously tell <laughs> that this is the game and the movie is something that looks, let's say, a little bit different. Maybe a little different, but for its time, I remember seeing a, maybe I saw this commercial or maybe I just saw it in a magazine, but I was like, how are these graphics so good? 
I couldn't believe that James Bond's hand had veins in it like this. You can barely see it, but I remember looking at it like, God damn, graphics are good. They're, you can never get graphics better than this. Hi, Anthony Sullivan here with a great new invention that'll change your life. No more boring conversations or dull evenings. No more envy at other people's happy, successful lives. All this from one amazing product, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. With this incredible product, Sullivan. you get cars, motorbikes, helicopters, weapons, nightclubs, boats, a host of new friends, and do-it-yourself equipment. <laughs> Not to mention nine hours of music, which is a lot. All this for just forty nine ninety nine, including this handy carrying case. <laughs> But wait, there's more. Similar products sell for as much as five million dollars and can cause oh. headaches. We've got martial arts, fashion, headaches, dancing huh? girls, blondie, Paul and Oates, catamarans, big houses, and lots of them. I've tried it, and Grand Theft Auto Vice City can really change your life. It'll put a spring in your step and reinvigorate your mind. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, rated M for mature. Okay, I uh, that I like that commercial quite a bit. I think it is the right mood for a GTA advertisement. Um, also, I guess that dude, he was like uh, Billy Mays type dude, right? I remember seeing some of his stuff that he shilled. Uh, I don't know if he's still doing the work, but yeah. Jump. Grab it. Boy, baby boy. I didn't know Harrison Ford did a video game commercial. How much money did they pay Harrison Ford to do this? What did he say? What did he say? Is he try, trying to say Sugoi? Is that Japanese? What is Sugay? <laughs> wait, wait, is that like an accent? It's it's like, it's another way of saying it. Okay. I thought he mispronounced it and wouldn't let them do another take. It's like, I'm fucking done. I'm done. Give me the money. The name of this video is he's definitely playing this dot mp4. This is my favorite bit of acting of his. Listen, man, hey, he uh he probably got paid a lot of money for this commercial. Make that bank Harrison Ford. If that indie money slow uh, slows down, then yeah, you got to do commercials for Uncharted. Oh, oh, he was going to say kawaii. I like that they're kind of going against tight for a commercial like this because you expect like babies and children's to uh, want to talk to Pikachu. <laughs> God. He just screams Pikachu. Oh, okay, this is a remix of that other of the other two. It's Pikachu. Alright. I rented that game. Oh wait, no, I didn't. How could you rent that with the microphone? I probably borrowed it from a friend. Wait, could you rent? Hey, you Pikachu. Oh, oh, never mind. Someone just died.
It's a little hard to watch in current year. <laughs> Jesus. Meanwhile, if you actually play the game, Hitman, like I did, just shoot everyone in the head. It's like, yeah, this is video games, bro. Oh, someone else is gonna die? Alright. He didn't just get shot in the cock like Robocop, right? No, it's the stomach. By Hitman, here's some people getting shot. <laughs> After graduating Choate, I went on, of course, to Harvard, where I majored in Latin. I then proceeded Tonal shift. on to... Think you're really smart? Find out this November. Onomatopoeia. O N O M A T O P O E I A. Think you're really smart? Then try Maybe it's not a huge tonal shift. People are still getting pulped. Twister. Get ready to think or die. Oh. <laughs> it fits the tone of the game. I mean, this is what the game is. You need to live the young, hip, jet grind radio lifestyle. You skate, you groove, you bomb bricks, and run from the man. Yeah, it's an appropriately insane commercial. Wait, is is this Squid Game? Is this also? F uh, wait, no. It's the Joseph. Okay. <laughs> Fucking Mr. Mosquito. You play as a mosquito and you suck blood. That's the game. It's a real game. It's a PS2 game. I I think I've played it or I watched someone play it. I don't know. Memories are hard these days. But um we yeah, it's it's definitely a commercial. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, it's obvious you know what this is. But something about those special effects are just kind of unsettling. Like watch, watch. Look at it. It's like it, it's it's, <laughs> it's so weird. I don't even understand it. <laughs> weird. His fighting skills are unstoppable. Explosive energy is his to command. He's all these powers and dozens more. He's Kirby. The they did full 3D curb for this commercial. You can help Kirby for puff and fight his way through tons of adventure. A 2D curb. Kirby Superstar Ultra. He's the super tough pink puff. Only for Nintendo DS. Ready for everyone. Well, they did some 3D Kirby there. I don't really know what else to say. No more commentary left. There's only a couple more commercials for tonight. So I just played this not too long ago. If you can't beat him, for the first time, and I loved it. Competition with Kirby as he jets across 20 gut-busting race courses in Kirby. Gut-busting. Only on Nintendo GameCube. Rated E for everyone. I mean, this sums up Kirby pretty nicely, though. It really does. <laughs> I mean, that's Kirby exactly in a nutshell. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. 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 
I love the way they pronounce the Japanese people pronounce Kirby. It's wonderful. Kirby Chan. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is this commercial? That's that's you know what? That's nice. That's what that is. At the farthest edge of deep space, there's an army of evil planning to control the universe. The only hope is the biggest, fattest warp star warrior in the galaxy. He's feeling pumped, he's feeling powerful, and he's feeling in the pink? Kirby's here to save the day! So come on, monsters, give it your best shot! Kirby now, this is the Kirby anime that they're re-releasing on Blu-ray, right? This is getting a remaster. An all-new Kirby! Coming up next, only in the... I should watch that one day, or at least an episode or two. Yeah, it's getting, um, they're re-releasing this anime on Blu-ray in Japan. Okay. Well, that's cool, though. There's so many things that just never get re-released or get, like, a shitty, just, like, from tape that is crusty to DVD. So that's nice. All right, chat, it's late. I'm tired. But I have one more thing for you. Unfortunately, um, I can't do the combination one because that includes videos we haven't seen but i have one more poop commercials will return we're up to the k's obviously we're with we're with kirby right now but um next time i do these we'll we'll maybe we'll get to the t's i don't know but here is the final poop of the night let's hope it's good maybe we'll even get a meme out of it well, like on skill. The hell is this? What the fuck am I looking at? I, you know what? Just <laughs> do lots of poop with Harrison Ford. Why our passion for gaming has led us to rent games. This from one amazing museum. No, and then you got. Try intelligent cube. The painfully. Luigi, look! <laughs> Jesus. When your dick pet Bitches love my penis because it's real. Feeling what? In the pink? How you doing? Beep. What did I hear a minute ago? When your dick pet Bitches love my penis because it's real. It's a John LaJoy song that I had. Yo, that's got to be included in the program. The YouTube plus plus program. YouTube poop plus plus. It's called I, that. I, that is not. I did not insert that into the video chat. <laughs> Listen, I know it's a hard truth to swallow, but you have to believe me. How about them YouTube poops? Well, we'll try again next time where it will take me another 10 tries per video to generate a YouTube poop. So, uh, you know, 
that was classic game commercials. Even though I take the piss out of the, the segment and say, well, this is garbage. Why am I doing this? The truth is I enjoy doing commentary to stuff like this because some of it is nostalgic. Some of it is hilarious unintentionally or intentionally. And some of it's just weird. It's like, why does this exist? So I've come to enjoy the commercial segment. Less poop is good. We only did the three poops. We got one, maybe two couple funny moments. Fine. But the truth is, I think less is more with the poops. And maybe even like less is less is less is more. We'll find out. But next time, chat, there will be more commercials. We will continue. Kirby. There will be Kirby commercials. I'm sure there will be Metal Gear Solid commercial, etc. But hey, thank you for watching. I enjoyed I enjoyed watching the commercials with you, and I hope you have a good night. As always, thank you for the continued support. I know I don't call out subs, and I don't plan on it, but um, it is appreciated. As always, you can save your money for charity events whenever they may occur, but thank you for helping me in my life. I appreciate that very much, and uh, I'm grateful. I'm very lucky. Some may, Some may say I am not. I am. I'm very lucky. I will continue to try to appreciate that every day. But uh, until then, I'm going to go to sleep and uh, have a good night. Thank you, mods. Thank you, everybody that helps me out. Thank you, everyone who submitted a pack for um, any kind of corruption, or any kind of commercial, any kind of anything. Thanks. All right. Goodbye. Oh, and uh, during the week, Live Alive, we'll check out um, that Kirby game with the food, the Fall Guy Kirby game. I'd like to check that out when that comes out. And um, who knows what else? I'll, I'll figure it out. Make it up as I go along. Good night. Welcome. Welcome. Put your dick away, Wolf. Put your dick away, Wolf. Put your dick away.